Hi everybody, welcome back to the channel. In this video we travel north about 32 miles to Callanish on the Isle of Lewis where I attempt to shoot some dramatic moody black and white shots of the famous standing stones. I also do a little bit of infrared photography. So uh, yeah, come along and enjoy. Hi everybody, welcome back to the channel. Today we've come up first of all to the Callanish standing stones on Lewis. So I'm going to try and create a kind of triptych type shot using a combination of uh, the ordinary camera and some infrared photography. So let's get going. As you can probably hear, <laughs> it's very windy again. So this might be a voiceover video, I'm afraid. But uh, yeah, it's looking nice and it's looking spectacular here. These stones are just incredible. Yeah, so what we're doing here is take some shots with the the Canon 5D and also some with the infrared camera and uh, it's all looking quite dramatic in infrared. Uh, unfortunately it's very windy and uh, there's no real uh, direct sunlight so it's, it's, it's probably going to be a day for black and white. But, yeah, it's looking nice. It's looking nice. Just try to find see this. It's all about trying to find like, compositions in here because it's, it's kind of difficult to express just how big these stones are and how dramatic they look. Because um, is isn't really anything to give them scale other than every now and again a personal walk in front of a shot. But uh, yeah, it's looking nice. So for my first shot I decided to go with the infrared camera. I was using a 950 nanometer filter at this point and I knew that that would render the sky very dark. It would also make any living material, so like the grasses and mosses, very very bright. So what I did was I, I wandered around the stone circle until I found a stone that had quite a significant moss growth on it because I knew that that would introduce a bit of contrast. And I settled on this particular stone. I kind of like the arrangement of those five stones off to the left and the kind of moody dark sky. But what really drew me was that moss towards the top of this taller stone because uh, that the infrared camera really brings that out and that's something that's very, very difficult to emulate in post-processing if you're using just an ordinary black and white uh, setup. But... This is when infrared really comes into its own. Obviously the stones themselves are very very cold, which is why they are rendered as being very dark, a lot darker than they actually look in, in real life. And all in, I think, um, given the conditions that we had that day, uh, it felt very dramatic, it felt very moody. And I think the infrared and the black and white conversion uh, really helped emphasize that. So I'm, I'm quite happy with this shot. Yeah, the downside about this is uh, <laughs> it's very popular with tourists. So I think what I'm going to do now is try and grab some kind of detail, some close-ups of the, the rock, because some of the rocks have got very interesting uh, texture to them. So I'm going to try and do that, but try to find some interesting compositions. So this next image is a black and white conversion from a visible light image. And straight away you can see the obvious difference in the colour of the grass and moss. Uh, this is a lot more natural looking, this is 
closer to how it actually looked on the day other than the black and white aspect obviously you can see the moss on this foreground stone just looks the same as the grass it is almost indistinguishable from the stone itself what drew me to this particular image was the the way the light was hitting those closest three stones but none of the others uh, we just had a little break in the clouds and the light was pouring down but for some reason it was only hitting those stones and I kind of like that they form a, a good leading line takes you up to that larger stone in the centre and uh, in terms of processing obviously I converted it to black and white but also gave a little bit of soft focus enhanced some of the details a little bit of traditional dodge and burn that sort of stuff and uh, yeah again I'm kind of happy with this image This next image is another black and white conversion from a visible light image. This stone kind of caught my attention because it, it, it almost looked crouched like it, it was a, a human. So what I did was I arranged it on one side of the frame and tried to find an angle that emphasised that almost crouching stance but also included as much as possible of the, the stone circle behind it. Again I was kind of lucky in that the sky was looking particularly dramatic at the time. So. I really didn't do an awful lot to this other than a little bit of sharpening, a little bit of dodge and burn and obviously the, the black and white conversion itself. This next image is uh, another black and white conversion from a visible light shot. I really wanted to get an image of the central monolith which is which towers over all the other stones at Callanish. But I wanted to put it in context so include again some more of the, the, the circle. I kind of like this avenue of stones which was leading out towards the loch in the background there and with the dramatic sky itself it, it kind of lent itself to quite an interesting composition. Yeah, being here has just reminded me of a funny story of the first time I came. Uh, tourist guides showing people around the stones and he says, uh, yeah, these stones have been standing here since uh, for 6,005 years, six months and two days. And uh, one of the visitors says, that's very precise, how can you be that precise? And he said, well, simple, they were 6,000 years old when I started and uh, I've been here for five years, six months and two days. Right, that's us for another video. Uh, short and sweet this time, I'm afraid. Uh, a busload of tourists turned up, so we were kind of struggling. It was a case of trying to hide them behind stones and things. But hopefully we got enough. Uh, I'd like to make a wee triptych, either in infrared or visible. So uh, that's it for another video anyway. Uh, if you liked, give a little thumbs up and uh, we'll catch you next time. Cheers, bye.